Hi everyone, this is Regina Walton. I am in the community team here at Creative Live, and we are talking to John Jantz. I'm the instructor of our duct tape marketing course, and we are checking in with Craig Fichtelberg um, from Chicago. So I will let you take it from here, John. Hey Craig, so thanks for joining us today, and those of you uh, tuning in either live or watching this recording, thanks for joining as well to hear a little more about Creative Live and duct tape marketing. Uh, but first, let's uh, let's hear a little bit about your business, Craig. You have a pretty unique business, and quite frankly, um, you know, we talk about small business. I, I would put you in the not exactly small <laughs> uh, category. You ha you have maybe a, what what a lot of people would aspire to as as a mid-sized business. So it was interesting having you there and getting your perspective. So tell us first uh, a little bit about what you do. Sure. Um we, we actually originally started as, we're, we're a travel company, we, uh, we originally started as 1-800-CHEAP-AIR in the early 90s and migrated to the internet with CheapAir.com and then we had a number of customers that we found booking through, like actual businesses and business travelers booking through CheapAir. We realized that this was not a, a good forum for them to be booking, so we then... Uh, and we had the resources, we've done all of our development, and we then uh, built Amtrav, which is kind of like a, was a startup model, but it's a business travel agency that rescues businesses from the hassles of business travel. And we, uh, we basically, uh, I came to the event kind of more focused on Amtrav because that's been a, a, a big uh, part of our current growth model right now. And, and what we've, that, that's where we're investing a lot of resources. Yeah, yeah. So that, that you kind of jumped into my first question, really. You know, what what did draw you to, or what were you expecting, maybe, or hoping to accomplish by spending three days, uh, in, you know, locked in a room, essentially, with seven or eight other uh, business owners? What were you hoping to come away with? We've. Uh, it's interesting because we, when we did Cheap Air, we kind of started as a small business, and we didn't add a marketing component for a number of years down, uh, probably a decade after we started. And we, we found great success in doing that. And we, uh, we, had, we were toying with the idea of doing the same thing with Amtrav on the business side uh, as an opportunity to kind of take the next step in, in growing our business. So if you can take yourself back to uh, that, uh end of that three-day course, um, I, I know you had, uh, because we talked during the course and certainly we've actually talked since then, uh, but I know you had a lot of what I would call kind of big ideas for what you wanted to do, you know, based on what you uh, gained or, the, or what you learned. Um, can you point to a handful of things that you, at the end of that, uh, you know, on top of being sort of overwhelmed, <laughs> uh, at the end of that said, okay, here are my priorities. I'm going to go back and take action on, you know, a handful of things. Can can you uh, point to anything that you really said, I need to do this? And then, of course, the follow-up to that is going to be, you know, what were the results of you doing it? Sure. Um, it, it was a positive overwhelm, by the way. It wasn't a <laughs> negative overwhelm. It was actually really good and very enlightening, so I really appreciated being an attendee at that event. Um, so I, I would say my biggest takeaway right out of the gate, I think it was in that first session, was was trust. And, yeah. and uh, I know uh, you po pointed it out to me early on, and I didn't really get it until I heard you talk a lot more about it, but... Uh, the way that we had kind of grown as a company, we really made we, – we, we, we went to great lengths to separate Cheap Air and Amtrav. And in looking at our site, the Amtrav site from the outside in, we, we went to great lengths for users to have no idea really who we are. We didn't put where we were located. Oh, we didn't right. discuss the leadership team. We never discussed our story. So that was a, a big part. And, and that kind of – that, that – that trust piece is kind of uh, goes well beyond just the website. But so what we did early on, uh, we added three pages pretty quickly because we planned to redo the marketing site, but we immediately added an our story page. We added mm -hmm. a leadership page uh, just to kind of warm up the feeling. Yeah. Uh, and give it, give it faces, right? Yeah, and yeah. give it faces, and we threw that we threw that up there immediately, and, and the story that we tell. 
I think was pointed out there, or, or while I was, I guess, sitting in your class and, and kind of thinking through what our story was, I was like, you know what, this is actually a pretty cool story. So wh why are we not telling it? Yeah. Um, the, uh, yeah and and let, 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 hold on yeah, to that point because sure. I, I want to follow. I think a lot of people have that story and they think, well, nobody's interested in that or that's kind of lame or that doesn't make us sound as cool, <laughs> you know, to tell our actual real stories. And I think that particularly if you buy into that idea of trust, I, I think that they absolutely want to hear your story. And even if your story is a little bit of, hey, we stumbled here and we, you know, we tried this and it didn't work and that's how we got to here and here's where we're going, I think all of a sudden people, you know, everybody can relate <laughs> to a good story like that and so I, I think more people need to probably bring their kind of leadership or culture stories really to the forefront. Yeah and I think that there's this entre entrepreneurial spirit just in general yeah. throughout and I think that there, there are people at different stages of a startup and I, I do think that there's a, a lot of interest right now in, in, in how you get from you know zero to ten yeah. and up. Yeah. So yeah. I agree with you that the story does resonate. It does, and, and the more the more truth that that you are telling, the more the more trust you're actually building. The more you're revealing, the more trust you're building. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean it. it you know we don't. Tr I think to some degree we we don't trust that perfectly polished penny, you know, <laughs> and it's that that idea that yeah, okay, you've taken some knocks, you've learned some things, you're better because of it. I think that's the story that that feels uh, much more real. So so what else did you take away and work on in in the early stages? So the other the other big piece was just it was the general marketing kit, and yeah. what we what we did what we walked away. Uh, when I walked away from that, one of the first things we did was we surveyed our customers and we got tons of great feedback that, that um, you know, put us in a position to get, you know, to get some great customer testimonials. We used the, you know, what would you tell someone else trick? And we, uh, and we, we kind of built, worked through like what our talking logo should be. And, and one thing that was interesting that we discovered was that, instead of kind of, you know, I always felt that we, we had to kind of look like we're different, we need to be innovative, we need to be this, but really that's not what was resonating with the customers. What they were concerned about was they wanted it easy, they wanted it hassle-free, they wanted business travel to not be a headache. Yeah. And, we, and we basically, we, we recently redid our logo and tag, and really our, our tag is now uh, hassle-free business travel. And and basically what we're going to do, the marketing kit that we're, we're in the process of putting together, anyone could say that they hassle-free business travel, but we actually have a story to tell from not from the, the prospect stage. So the stage where you're looking, how are we making that hassle-free? We're, we're, you know, we're not requiring you fill out all these forms We're we're, we're, no startup fees, really easy to get in and give it a try. But then we're going to build that hassle-free story all the way through the process. Oh, that's great. So so I, I think the other thing that you're probably going to learn too, I think I, I use myself as a business traveler as an example, and I'm sure a lot of your customers, I'll pay more for that, right? Um, and, and I think that that's the thing that a lot of people, especially in a business you're in, it's, it's price, 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 right? Um, and I think that what you're finding is effective marketing, or at least you know telling your story and having this hassle free all of a sudden moves price down kind of in the equation and I think that that's you know that's one of the lessons that uh, that I think really having this uh, this story um, and effective marketing really can bring so have you been able to and I know it hasn't been that long and you've been it's a work in progress but even if it's just anecdotally you know say from customers are you uh, are you feeling or sensing or actually measuring um, results based on some of the new things that you are have put into place? Yes, we're we're constantly measuring everything. We're, I mean, we're doing a lot of. Uh, I, I would say, and and around that same time, we started with some new landing pages on some on our paid search, and we're you know the goal still is getting people back to our website and our our lead generation flow has doubled in mm. in that time period so uh, that's actually helped us a lot in terms of um, 
you know, having to worry about less lead generation internally from our sales team and they can be focused more on, on selling. Uh, and we're now able to kind of have more of a focus on larger prospects and, and, mm -hmm. and kind of, and we're creating lower cost pathways for the, the smaller accounts. So, so we can get them in, plug them in. We don't want to send them away. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, our resources and our, our cost per acquisition is aligned more uh, with the bigger opportunities. So we're willing to spend more in, the, in those scenarios. So uh, obviously it sounds like there's a lot of contributing factors, but would you say that maybe some of the things you've put into place are go going to contribute to, to increased revenue uh, for you, say, in 2014? Well, absolutely. And the one thing that I didn't mention that we are just about completed on was uh, a blog that, mm -hmm. that we are working on. And, and we've kind of we've kind of titled it like Business Travel 101 because it's really not a blog per se, uh, it, it, at least in what I would have originally thought prior to the, the class, what a blog yeah. should be. Yeah. So we're, we went through and we did our 12 themes and we basically are telling this story from you know, why you would need a travel agency, the different types of business agencies that are out there. So all of this is kind of uh, a part of that. And yeah. we, we don't have that up. We're literally like a week away. But I think a combination of that, uh, the marketing site materials that we're, we're now updating with this hassle-free model, I think by March 31st, we are going to be in a very powerful position. And we do have, we've already met with a PR company because at that point we, I think there's a lot of opportunities there with the entrepreneurial story that we sure. can tell. Yeah. And, uh, but I didn't want to take that leap until we put a lot of these marketing kit pieces together into sure. the website to maximize our return. Yeah, and I think you do, you know, the, in the terminology we're using today, you know, you get earned media a lot of times because you have a good story, so the PR, um, you know, comes about, but it also comes about because you have that, you know, what we call owned media, that blog content, that stuff that, so that all of a sudden you you can send people to those assets and, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, that really is great stuff and, and people want to share that. I, I, I'm going to make a prediction that that blog is going to generate significant search engine <laughs> um, uh, organic traffic for you uh, as, and you, you, no surprise you're hearing that from me, but I, I think based on what you're describing and how you're going to do it and the, the, the lack of information maybe that's in that category, I think you're going to do quite well with that. Yeah, yeah, I, I I'm excited to get that started. It's it's taken longer than I had anticipated, but generally, that that does tend to happen. Sure. The, the last thing we did that I was kind of a, a I think a takeaway from your class was also uh, more strategic partnerships. Oh, awesome! Yeah. What we've done is we've there are a lot of expense companies out there that are that are helping to remove the Excel expense piece but they didn't have a travel arm and concur is a monster out mm -hmm. there that's doing travel and expense. So we reached out to a handful of these companies as kind of like a beta test and said, Hey, we'll be your travel arm. You can go sell travel and expense and it'll be seamless for us. And it's been driving a very steady uh, lead flow. Oh, we we awesome. basically, we built a single sign on communication back and forth. And then uh, we, we send them a daily feed of data. So they're out there selling us um, because it's making them more competitive against who they need to be competitive with. And for us, it's a new lead flow channel that I'm yeah. that I also have high uh, hopes for in in 2014. Well, you know, I beat that drum pretty hard, and then we <laughs> we have a whole you know segment in the course just on how to create these strategic partnerships, and it's always so. I see such incredible opportunity for people with those, and it's always so great to hear somebody's actually gone out and done it because you're you're experiencing firsthand that is that is that's a really um, low risk, low cost way to build a whole lot of of as you uh, termed it lead flow. So that's awesome. I, I pat you on the on the on the back for for actually taking action because you know you can go yeah. to these courses and learn all yeah you know, I bet you've read thousands of books right <laughs> about business and and it, the real key is taking action on the stuff you learn so um, just to to finish up today if if somebody 
the people watching this will will ultimately be people maybe that are considering a, a course like duct tape marketing from Creative Live. Uh, what if, if somebody came to you and said, "Hey, I saw you on that that TV thing out uh, in San Francisco. You know, w would you recommend um, a business owner marketer uh, taking a course like this?" Uh, or I'd just love to hear your words if if somebody asked you, you know, what 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 they thought about it. Sure. Um... I went out when I went out there. I really did not know what to expect, and you know, I, I candidly, I kind of felt like I I came there knowing a lot, and there wasn't so much more I was going to learn. And I and I, it was uh, it put so many I think things in perspective, whether they're complicated things or uh, or, or not complicated things, but it it was. It was designed in such a way where I really didn't feel overwhelmed in a bad way when I left. I felt overwhelmed in a good way. And I, a lot of times you lead those things and you've got like lists and lists of to-do lists, but mine were very focused. And I was able to come back and sit down with people here and, and really get moving on the things. There were some things we could do immediately, like the trust stuff. And then there were some bigger projects like the blog and the marketing kit, but it all it really made a lot of sense, and uh, I find myself constantly going back to that, and uh, and I, you know, I'm very fortunate to be involved, and I I would definitely recommend it for 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 many different levels. Oh, awesome! Well, Craig, thanks so much for taking the time today, and uh, um, you know, hopefully, I, I will hear from you again and uh, your progress in in 2014. Um, I'm excited for you. Great! Thank you very much, John. Good luck. Thanks. Wow, that was really great. Uh, thank you, Craig, what? for taking the time to talk with us and let us know how you're doing. And John, thank you very much for sticking with us and talking to Chris, Ryan, Renee, and Craig today. Thank you, and both of you gentlemen stay warm. Great, thanks a lot.